family whose dogs vanished into thin air had only one last hope to get them back. There is no worse feeling than losing track of a pet. The uncertainty and guilt gnaws at you like no other feeling in the world. And every second that passes decreases the chances of a happy reunion. The owner needs to act immediately if there's to be any hope. This happy family never expected their dogs to run off, but mysterious circumstances pulled them away like magic. When all the conventional searching methods seemed fruitless, this couple rummaged through their house for the one thing that might pinpoint their lost pups. Liz and Graham Hampson considered themselves the ultimate dog parents. Though they have an adult human son, they devote most of their attention to caring for their schnauzers, Charlie and Theo. The Hampsons lived in the quiet English village of Buttermere. Maybe it wasn't the most exciting place in the world, but it was peaceful and gave their dogs plenty of room to roam around. The nearby Red Pike Fell made for a fantastic walk. The rocky ground could pose a challenge to the inexperienced hiker, but Theo and Charlie had traversed it many times. They probably had every stone memorized. One pleasant summer day in 2017, John had rare free time on his hands. He volunteered to take the schnauzers on a walk up by the fell. His parents told him to have a nice stroll. Both pups, aged 7 years and 15 months respectively, were generally on good behavior. Since there weren't any other people around they would bother, John decided to let them off their leashes for a while. Wouldn't some wide open space do them good? However, the unpredictable British weather threw John for a loop. A heavy mist rolled out of nowhere, making it impossible to see just a few feet in front of him. He called out so Charlie and Theo would come back to him. But as the fog receded, neither Schnauzer was anywhere to be seen. Trying not to panic, John scanned the landscape in every direction. He whistled. He prayed. Still, nothing. Meanwhile, Liz and Graham's relaxing afternoon back home came to an abrupt halt. The phone rang, and neither could process the words coming out of the speaker. John said that their beloved dogs ran away. The Samsons were desperate to get their pups back home, though they knew the Red Pike Fell posed too much land for just a few people to cover. Without help, they'd never get Theo and Charlie back. Words about the lost pets got around quickly and plenty of people stepped forward to help. Over 120 locals volunteered to help look. They didn't turn up any leads after the first day, so one resident proposed a novel strategy. The techie brought out his two drones. They flew all over the surrounding Buttermere area, scanning for two scared and hungry schnauzers. But after four days of searching, the dogs were still nowhere to be seen. Things weren't looking good and Liz and Graham's hopes began to waver. They figured that their poor canines must be starving out there. And that sad thought transformed into a bright idea. Graham rifled through the refrigerator without stopping to explain to his wife what he was looking for. She saw him grab a package from one of the drawers and dash outside. He was headed for Red Pike Fell. Liz followed her husband out to the exact spot where John lost track of the dogs. She then understood that he'd carried a bundle of sausages out of the fridge and they were now roasting over a small portable grill. His plan was simple. If the hungry dogs hadn't gotten far from where John had lost them, they'd smell the crispy, sizzling sausages, and if he knew anything about Charlie and Theo, it was that they couldn't resist a barbecue. The couple crossed their fingers as the grill sputtered. Then two tiny silhouettes appeared on the horizon. When they first appeared, it was like a mirage. I couldn't believe it was them, recalled Liz. Charlie and Theo returned. The moment proved overwhelming for their human parents, who couldn't believe that their last-ditch strategy worked. However, they had one phone call to make before they could really celebrate. John, now back at the naval base, had been in an awful way. When his parents called him to share the good news, they heard a chorus of cheers in the background as he told his sailor pals that the dogs were back. Nobody quite knows what Charlie and Theo, who happened to be father and son, got up to during their four days in the wild. Maybe they were busy with some heroics out there. Strange as it sounds, it's happened before. <laughs>